Flames and smoke level a house near South Woodbury Township in Bedford County this afternoon. Seven fire departments called in to help put the blaze out on the Salemville Road. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The call came in just before 3 o'clock this afternoon, but by then it was too late. The house is a total loss. And Melanie Gillespie has more on what happened tonight. Mel? Party when I got there was pretty much down to the foundation. The couple living inside is okay, but say what they had inside that house meant more to them than just materials. Heavy machinery picks up charred wood and metal. Left on this now scorched foundation on Salemville Road in Bedford County. It is a total loss. A total loss. Just a few hours earlier, flames and smoke tore through Bob Detweiler's historic log cabin home. I didn't think that anything was going on until I heard a big bang. And I thought, well, I better check this out. And uh, I, I looked down and, uh, and the, uh, the west end of the house was almost engulfed in. And it seems like that's where the fire started. He says he wasn't more than 150 feet away from where the flames started. His wife was inside but their phone wasn't working to call for help. By the time they did, it was too late. And then the wind being what it is today, uh, just just fed it. That's basically, we took it from there, being uh, an old log, a log home, uh, created some challenges for us, and uh, so it's, it's taken longer than it normally does. Detweiler says the house dates back to the 1750s. He and his wife bought the house in the 80s and made it their own, but it was what's inside that he says he'll never be able to replace. My wife and I both uh, are antique lovers, and we had, we are collectors also, and had furniture and so on and so forth from at least three generations before us. So, and it's all gone. Like I said, all we have is the clothes on our back. Still no cause as to what started that fire, but the fire marshal was called in to investigate. The homeowner says it's a good possibility he could rebuild on the same piece of land. Reporting live, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.